I'll try not to be frothy mouthed like a groupie, but uh, it's really a delight to welcome Baluji and Ziad and Linda to work with us this morning. This is in the context, just to tell all of us and remind all of us really, that we are <coughs> ethnomusicologists and we're in stage three, year three, final year, and some of you might graduate with a BA Honours in music, colon, ethnomusicology. So um, you might move forward with that strand. Music within its cultural, social, human context, all of these adages to explore. Um, I've taught you some words like palimpsest, like the layers of the onion that Baluji will represent a musical world, but it's his story as well, and he'll have met up with other musicians from other parts of the world, and so you bore down into the music that they make, and you see different layers of the onion as to inferences and uh, footsteps, I guess. <coughs> Beyond all of this, um, Baluchi is famous to me, but he has to earn a living. He's one of the greatest sitarists in the world, but probably very few of you have heard of him. So, uh, or this might contextualise the fact that we have a film crew coming in in a minute, like ten minutes ago or whatever. That might disrupt things, but I always think there is a lesson to be learned in whatever... Com, you know, position you find yourself. A, an ethnomusicologist is nosy, curious, uh, inquisitive, etc. And I would suggest that even though they might break up the party in a sense, probably Baluji, like a film star, is used to moving to a particular position that they want him to, even if he wouldn't naturally, to play the same bit again and so on. So a certain sense of rehearsal in order for them professionally to get the shots that they want. So you have to get that job. You know, uh, and there's nothing disreputable about that. You can still retain your purest puritanical stance in life. I cited to you in the past this magazine, Song Lines, which I have a love-hate relationship with, but it's not about me. Um, why I'm bringing it up this morning is because it arrived through my post box this morning, and I'm just thrilled to see on page 87 there's an five-star rating of Philip Henry and Hannah Martin, who were students of ours six, seven years ago. And so just a sense that they struck the stage, they do their stuff, and it's just, there's a lot of musicianship from open mic night round the corner through to those who break <coughs> through into the higher echelons. And so it's all around everywhere for you to piece together um, from all the clues that you get. I don't know what's going to happen this morning. Baluji doesn't quite, but in his tradition, a huge amount of rehearsal and practice and so on. But then you open it up and, and improvisation has its place. And so we kind of don't know and we do know. It's not about me. Let me introduce, before we get on to the musicians, um, we have Dan, who is our respect man. He will speak for himself. <laughs> you know Simon as our Peninsula Arts Director of Music. Um, I will shut up. Dan, take the floor. Thank you, Phil. Well, well hello, everybody. I mean, um, keep it brief as, as I can, really. It's uh, obviously very important. This is the first part of the Respect Festival, which is happening, I hope you all know, over the next few days or around campus. We've got quite a good mix of acts and artists coming down. And obviously, as Phil said, you know, to bring somebody of Belugi stature and with the group of people who've been working with the Innovision Orchestra, who will be performing tomorrow evening uh, in the Royal Building, is, is pretty special. For, for us as respect, for pretty special for us as respect working with the university. And I also think really pretty special for Plymouth because uh, I think we do lack some, some, uh, some special stuff coming down to, to Plymouth. So it's really important for us to, to hopefully work on these relationships and see where we can take them. And, and obviously like this, this moment, getting you all involved is uh, really, really important to us. As Phil said, we're hoping for some, um, some coverage from the, uh, the, the TV in a moment. So hopefully they're going to come in and I'll keep them to a minimum. Uh, because obviously we've got a lot going on today and I'm conscious that you know you have a few hours with these great people and I want you to use those as best as you can. So that's really as far as I'll go. Um, but apart from obviously, please make sure you come and support us over the weekend uh, and move around campus. You know the campus, help people move around the campus. I've got to get the general public in here to do that and that's uh, <coughs> another battle on my hands. But um, I'm sure it's going to be great. Bless us some blue skies. So please enjoy your day today. All you have to do is one, two, three, four strings, just keep playing. 
And so I would like um, a volunteer to play this. Who is going to do it for me? <coughs> Come on. Come on. Come on. <laughs> Just like that. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Come on, you're Yes? Who wants to do it? Come a young lady coming on your right. <laughs> okay. Thank you, young lady. What's your name, Marianne? Is it? Chanel. Chanel. <laughs> you can sit on the chair if you prefer. Yeah, sit on the Be chair. comfortable. <laughs> Once it's done, play sort it out. Then. It's okay. Yeah. something like Vande Mataram that's fine, that was easy Sujala it goes la 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 that's what I meant you don't have to sing words but you have to sing loud la 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 it doesn't matter if you sing la 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 a a a a or, or not the proper words even some words similar whatever you can sing whatever you can find out of course i have not given you the song in writing and in indian music we don't write anything we just improvise <coughs> so it's an improvisation workshop i i don't know what I, what's going to happen you don't know what's going to happen but something will happen definitely now after this song i would like to do some well, we can do the same song again, but with clapping. Just clap like this one.
performances which are outside of our normal cultural stance. And uh, as some of you might move towards music criticism, the world of, uh, you know, penning a piece and so on, there's a really nice prize if any of you come away from tomorrow evening's performance with a little um, critique, summary of... Imagine you were writing a review of the performance tomorrow evening. If you send them to me, then the best one that comes gets an enormous prize. How about that? And uh, Cadbury's flake? Uh, more than that. And we'll put it, and Blue will put it, and, and we'll put it on Blue's website as well. And it'll go on Baluki's website if it's worthy of it. He was the final arbiter. What are you looking for? Just have, have fun writing something. <laughs> Can you sing as well those scales? 
yes, fa? yes, we can. We do can. Fa sol first? All right. Do, do you do do re mi fa sol or A B C? I think do re mi fa is better. Yeah, do re mi. Yeah. Okay. Right. In this case, we'll do do re mi. But um, let, let us. Uh, the, the major. Are there Arabic names of the notes? Okay. Yes. Yeah. No. No. I can do. Uh, there are Arabic names for the scales. Okay. So uh, the major scale, which would be uh, C major, uh, is called Ajam. Okay. Ajam. Ajam. Uh, and the uh, Ajam is Do. Do because it's, the C is Do. Okay. And um, if you can go with me, Do. Do.
some exercise here for you. For, for this skin, I really love it so much. Because, you see, this is supposed to be happy skin. If I, all I want you to do is when I say, sing something, and you, you say with me, and then I sing something as and you say, okay? Easy or difficult? <laughs> it's easily difficult. Well, uh, easy for me. Uh, to start with, yeah? So, I'll, I'll repeat again. When I sing something and you say, When I say something else, So, So the nakri is goes something like do Just two more? Huh? 
Well, uh, I'm talking to you about the most common ones, you know. Uh, oh, thank God for that. <laughs> uh, I'm not going to go into the compound uh, scales and all that, no, just for you. Um, but just for me, okay. Yeah. Uh, Saba, Saba, this scale is... Uh, <coughs> well, uh, it's good for a uh, string instrument, uh, flute, uh, this kind of thing. But it's, it's kind of uh, for sad songs, you know. Um, so, for example, uh, the, the E would be quarter, um, F would be F, uh, G would be flat, which would be F natural, F sharp. Um, the A is okay, B there. Uh, B flat, C, M, uh, the D will be sharp. So let's see what happens there, yeah? This, um, is, more, this is more Nakriz than the Nakriz one. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to definitely make you Nakriz now. <laughs> so it goes something different. This is improvisation to me. <coughs> right? And 
what we also do in Arabic music, if I am playing bayat, you know, improvising on bayat, and I want to <coughs> change, say, to, to rast, or, or any given scale, I can do that, you know, because um, think about uh, your clothes, you know, when you're thinking, especially ladies here, um, when you uh, wake up in the morning, you think, okay, you know, my uh, blue jeans, what would go with it, or my red t-shirt, or my white uh, thing, you know, uh, so in Makans, things, well, at least when you are like that, you know, uh, you know, you're playing bayat, and then sometimes you want to play hijaz, uh, you know, you, you have to do it in a way that, you know, when you see where it suits, you know. Uh, another type of taqasim is uh, commonly used in Arabic music um, is uh, still free improvisation, but with a rhythm. Say, for example, you know, uh, if we are doing, let me, uh, uh, can I have the bongos, please? Yeah, uh, bongos, where are the bongos going? Uh, it's, it's Just to your left, yeah. 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 Oh, sorry. Uh, uh, so, sorry, yeah, I'll, I'll pay you for that. Luckily, it wasn't my toe. <laughs> uh, oh, you, you are about your toe or about the bangers? <laughs> no, I'm worried about my toe first. Yeah, <laughs> okay. Good man, this is what I want to do. So, if uh, we are playing a rhythm, improvisation would be something like. Ta -da -da. just uh, uh, <coughs> explained, I hope you found that uh, informative, interesting, entertaining. <coughs> Certainly for me, I have really enjoyed so much being here, uh, giving this uh, work, you know, or taking, I wouldn't say giving, because I've been taking part uh, with, with Baluji, uh, with this workshop, um, and I really look forward to see you tomorrow. And remember, when we do diggy diggy alaba to sing along with us, <laughs> do you remember the words? Diggy 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 alaba yomma yomma hey. We do it again. Diggy 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 alaba. The afrag, I'll do it myself. Oh, I see. You know, that, that's another idea. See, this is improvisation. <laughs> you know? Because, as I said from the beginning, you know, when we play a, pl a classical piece, you know, like Chopin, Mozart, whatever, we do what the composer intended. You know, forty here, fortissimo there, uh, <coughs> slow down here, slow down there. Uh, but improvisation, you know, and just do whatever thing you know you think is you like, you know. So once again, thank you very much indeed for your time, for your uh, listening, for your participation, and um, I hope to see you tomorrow. Or I look forward to seeing you tomorrow in the, in the performance. Subhanallah. Subhanallah. Like me or what? No, I, I was like this, you know. You didn't see me. <laughs> you were awake all that time.